Hello, you people who don't have a high enough IQ to appreciate Rick and Morty. Jim Sterling here, and this is Pickled Rick. Now, something tells me this isn't a... a licensed video game. Something tells me that this might be ripping off another property. Anyway, let's get our Szechuan sauce stained asses over to the start screen and see what we've got going. New game. Chapter... <sighs> tutorial. I mean, I guess. I guess we'll try the tutorial like casuals. Right, pickle, <laughs> Pickled Rick. Okay, this is an actual game that's on Steam thanks to Steam Direct. Thank you. Okay, that's a lot of stuff there in the top right corner. Eye inventory. Block. Weak attack is... So, hang on. So right is block, as you can see, very, very, very nicely animated. Oh my Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, this isn't the most intuitive control scheme. So right is block, weak attack is your left click. Then it's one for heavy attack. Then C for crouch, space for jump, um, Q for roll. Uh, okay, Q for roll. And then E for action, tab, lock on, shift run. Okay, so the rest of it, U for use item, all the way over here on the keyboard. Okay, so I guess we'll roll with it. Let's fight the rat. Yeah, we'll fight the rat. There we go. I don't know if you're familiar. That's it. There we go. Brilliant. This is some great combat. Let's do a heavy attack. We should lock on, shouldn't we? Lock on. There we go. Right. Now we can do a heavy attack. All the live long die. Right. That last one I did was a weak attack. It, it seemed to do just about as much damage as a heavy attack. Yeah. Breaking vases there. Oh, look. We've got something we can pick up. That was a health potion. Good. So we press U, I guess, to use that. Press I or back button to open the inventory. And you can equip weapons. Okay, cool, cool. What's this? Oh, no. E, open chest. Well, that's a, a stylistically placed tutorial message. Now we have a weapon. Look at that. Press 1 for a heavy... That's going to throw me every single time. Okay, what's this? Checkpoint allows you to save your game. Brilliant. Okay. So now we're fighting the heavily armoured one. And... And then now we've killed it. Alright. Cool. You know, this game seems very familiar. I feel like they're ripping off regular show. Okay, serious business time. We're here to play a real level. I like that this game hasn't hidden the mouse cursor because if there's one thing I want in a third person action game, it's for my mouse cursor to be on the screen as a constant. Di what is it with the recent spate of Steam games not doing anything about the fucking mouse cursor? Anyway, it's clobbering time. Let's go do some clobbering. Here we go. Bap. Smash, smash, smash. Time to roll. Pow. Time to roll again. There we are. I like how the rats aren't particularly bothered about fighting. Let's do a heavy attack. There we are. Okay, that's that one dead. Now let's just deal with the camera. Good. And there we go. Uh-oh, better block. Yeah. This isn't very good. Um, it's got some problems, mostly with it being awful. But, hey. So long as you mindlessly hammer the mouse button, you will eventually die. So, so that's good to know. So, here's the thing. It looks like whoever quote-unquote developed the game Pickled Rick didn't code in any sort of respawn. 
I've, I've just been on this screen for a while just pressing buttons. I did press a button that saved the game. Oh yeah, the enter, the enter key saves the game. And then I guess if you load it, we'll see if, if maybe it just loads us at the, at the beginning of the level. Oh, look at that. It loads us at the beginning of combat. So that's something. Can we just ignore these and just, no. We take them on one at a time. That's much better. Right. Yeah, come on. Come on. Hit the one key because yes, intuition. Good. We hit him through the floor. <laughs> oh, I'm getting the hang of this game now. You've just got to punch them so hard they go through the fucking ground. All right, deal with this one. My next victim. Let's see what solid surfaces you can be forced into. <laughs> I'm pickled Rick. Now let's see our prize. We've got one V short katana. We've got a great shield, which we're hitting with because the katana didn't equip. All right, inventory, equipments. There's my katana. There's my shield. Okay, here we go. I'm Pickle D Rick. I appreciate how the shield is clipping through Pickle D Rick's entire fucking body. That's good. What we got going on in here? Nothing. Can we hit these buttons? Of course we can't. Okay, let's see what else we've got. I need a healing potion. My health's not doing great. And we've only managed to punch, what was it? Two rats through floors? Probably gonna be a lot more rats to punch through. Those tables are not on the ground. They are not on the ground at all. Pickle Drick! Okay, it's a heavily armored one. We're in real trouble now, but we've got a great sword. And so far, oh shit. Come on, hit him! When I press the hit button, hit things. All right. Um, I, it doesn't seem like there's any, oh my God. No, what are you doing? Give me them back. Fucking idiot. There doesn't seem to be a camera control of any sort. No, so I am flying kind of without wings here as we just guess the direction to go in. Oh, we've got a Vax. I'm beginning to think that the V in front of things doesn't mean anything. Like when I saw V small katana, I thought it said ve I thought it meant very small katana. I think the V is there just because they forgot to take it out. Okay, so the game really has fucked us. Oh, there we go. So I hit the tab button to lock onto the nearest. Oh, that's not a rat. That's something else they bought from the asset store. All right, we'll fight it all the same. It's gonna kill us, this one. Maybe I, no. Oh dear. Okay, well, we'll, we'll give it another go. Oh yeah, I've gotta, I gotta reload it, don't I? Because the game forgot to code in a fucking checkpoint system that actually respawns you. <laughs> Fuck this game. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that as well, that because you touch the checkpoint system, it makes you have to sit through that menu every single time. That's also good. One major issue is we don't have any healing items. That's going to prove a significant problem for us, as you can see here. Uh, it's a... Uh, the problem is, is the combat system isn't so much a combat system as it is a chaotic mess of vomit and shit. So you're wildly smashing things. The ability to dodge and block doesn't really matter because it's not like there's any methodical combat going on. You know, it's not like, yeah, yeah, there are any tells, there's any real point to doing anything other than just smashing the button and hoping for the best because it's a fucking mess. Things like blocking and dodging work in games where there's an actual, well, where there's an actual combat system. In games that don't have combat systems, you're kind of wasting everybody's time. Okay. Well, this is a new one. 
There we go. Took us a while there to actually get away from the checkpoint because, as I say, you go anywhere near that... I think that cube there is supposed to be transparent and maybe they don't know how to make it transparent, but that's the hitbox for the checkpoint. And if you go near it, it, it forces up the, uh, the save and load menu and yeah, we were just stuck there for a while. I do like the, you know, whether you save the game or not, it de-equips you. So, you know, put the axe in there, put the shield in there every time you die. You have to re-equip yourself. Now, since this game doesn't have a combat system, I think what I'm gonna do is the same loot every time as well, I think. I think we just got, a, yeah, got a second axe. What I'm gonna do is just fucking run for it. Since there is no combo, uh, sorry, combat system to speak of, I mean, there's no combo system to speak of either, but just don't bother with the combat. I mean, look at the health we have, or lack thereof. There we are. And that's the end of that level. Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm pickled Rick! Right, we're in the desert. Do we do we still have our equipment from last time? Nope. So we got nothing. Our health's full. And then we got ourselves a little exclamation well, it's not an exclamation mark, is it? It's just a just a fucking oblong. You've experienced a shipwreck. Find necessary tools or working ship to escape. Well that's new. What was the context for this? This game is shit, by the way. I don't know if any of you have noticed that yet. <laughs> this is the stupidest goddamn thing. Look at what I'm dealing with. What even is this? Video games. How have you allowed this to happen, video games? Come on. All right, well, we've punched that one through the ground. They always go before their health even empties out. What is this glorified No Man's Sky planet we're on? I like that this game couldn't be bothered to come up with consistent enemies or a checkpoint system that works or respawning or a combat system or, or anything. Anything at all. But it does have a fucking stamina meter. Thanks. Thanks for that little treat. I'm sure we're all very grateful for that, I'm Pickled Rick. The music has just stopped, by the way. The music just decided to stop. So I went all the way that way. And, oh, there's the working ship, actually. All right, well, that's the job done, I think. I think we just got to run all the way over to that ship up there and we've won. Fucking stamina meter! So we're just quietly making our way over here in the silence because... You know, the titular character Pickled Rick doesn't have any footstep sound effects or, or any sound effects at all, really. There's an alien over there, but it's probably not going to see us, even if we're in its direct line of sight. Yeah, it's not really bothered. It's just there, sort of vaguely near the ground, but not quite touching it. And I don't blame it. We've all seen what the Earth can do to these enemies. It swallows them whole. But we're going to be careful because this could be heavily guarded. Yeah, look at it. Oh my god. How are we going to deal with this? We could just try running up the ramp and avoiding all the enemies and seeing what happens. Because they're, you know, we haven't encountered a single healing item. And the combat's terrible. And I can see the continue marker just up there. So I'm going to walk and walk until I'm spotted, and then run. Oh, we're spotted, but there's no reason to run, because none of them have worked out how to get up the ramp! <laughs> oh yeah, I got a hardcore rating! No kills, 250 points! Hardcore! Hardcore Gamer! <laughs> Very difficult, these no-kill runs. They take a lot of skill to do. It, it's what we like to call a stealth gameplay run. That's what I'm giving you all here, is a stealth gameplay walkthrough for Pickled Rick. 
based on the popular series Adventure Time. Now, your teleport has broken, but you really need to return back to your own dimension. Find right equipment and make sure to survive. All right, so what does right equipment look like when it's at home? We've got a robot over here, a different type of one. They've really splashed out for some stuff on this game. All right. We've got a health potion and a great sword. Excellent. I'm not going to use it because fighting in this game is for suckers. Yeah, fuck off, robot. <laughs> Look at it. It's a rock'em sock'em fucker. Okay, let's ignore that. I've got to see what these parts look like. What do these, what do these parts look like?